Gabriella, what would you advise to other documentarians who are making a film about something that's so emotional? I mean, there's so many topics I think fellow documentarians want to cover, but I'm sure there were times when you got in maybe and you're like, can I keep going with this every day? I mean, yeah. I think most people would. Yeah. What would you advise to fellow documentarians who's going to have to live with this film? You said it took you two years, I think, or so, before mm -hmm. you complete. You know, I think that... Um, as a documentarian, I think I can sort of speak for all the documentarians I know. Um, once you know and you sort of learn the truth, um, your directive, um, it is your directive to tell the truth. So uh, for me, that was a tough one because I didn't think I was gonna be making this film. I didn't think I would be making a controversial film. I think it was, I thought I was covering some controversial topics, but I didn't think in general that I was gonna be pulling back the curtain on something that everybody needed to know. So at some point you just, you have to strap in and you have to believe in, um, in, in your work and you have to sort of believe that telling the truth is ultimately a good thing. So you initially started out to do something a little more lighthearted and then you uncovered more stories and Dawn's story. And yeah, I didn't start out thinking I was gonna make the film at hand. I thought that I was going to actually not be making this something necessarily lighthearted. I thought I was going to be making something more philosophical, more of a, of a sort of question about, you know, why is it that we have these, these interesting relationships with, um, you know, top predators and kind of exploring, maybe an exploratory, uh, exploratory piece. Um, I didn't uh, expect it to um, be the piece that it is. So, uh, so yeah, I think that's, that's the nature of documentary is that the future is always a question mark.